What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Jasmine Jewel, shining bright, taking flight, and reaching new heights. And so in today's video, we're going to be in Matthew. First of all, happy Thanksgiving, you guys. I hope you guys are getting well with family, warm, with friends, whatever the case may be. I hope you guys are safe. And uh, I'll be at work, clearly. But that's okay. I'll get that time and a half. So I'm not mad at it. Um, so we're in Matthew 17, verse 24. So in this 24 through 27. So God is, um, let me just read it. After Jesus and his disciples arrived in Capernaum, the collectors of the two drachma temple tax came to Peter and asked, doesn't your teacher pay the temple tax? Yes, he does, he replied. When Peter came into the house, Jesus was the first to speak. What do you think, Simon? He asked. From whom do the king of the earth collect duty and taxes from their own children or from others? From others, Peter answered. Then the children are exempt, Jesus said to him. But so that we may not cause offense, go to the lake and throw out your line. Take the first fish you catch, open its mouth, and you will find a four drachma coin. Take it and give it to them for my tax and for yours. So God is making a reference here. He's making a reference to the fact of these earthly kings do not allow their children to pay for anything. No taxes, no nothing, because they, they have the inheritance. So what? how different would it be as children of God, as children of the creator of the world, the universe, how different would it be for us to have to pay for anything when we have our father? Our father provides everything for us. We got to be in his house, following his rules. Y'all know how parents are. Being obedient, taking care of his temple, cleaning, you know, cleaning your body, your mind, your soul, your physical house. We got to take care of what God has given us. And when we do that, when we are truly, true, obedient children of God and, and not become this prodigal sons and daughters, God will be able to bless us. He, he's making a reference to the fact of these earthly kings are so low compared to me as a king. I'm the king of kings. That's what the Lord is saying. He's the king of kings. And so if the king of kings, if a regular king does not allow their children to have to pay for anything because you're in the inheritance of what I've built and created. How much more is God, the king of kings? God is showing us that on this earth, they expect you to pay these taxes, to do this, to do that. And it makes no sense on why we even have to do it. Taxes make no sense. First of all, one day I, I brought all my receipts. I collected all my receipts for the year for everything every little thing i bought a piece of bubble gum uh, a chair whatever it was and they were like oh well we can't do that what do you mean i'm paying taxes from when i work and from what i buy and you can't even give me my taxes back from the stuff that i buy so it don't make sense first of all none of it makes sense the system is so corrupt and screwed up that's neither here nor there what god is saying but despite the system being corrupt you still are going to get everything that you ever want and need when you are under my presence, under my wings. When you are in my house, in the house of the Lord, you're going to get everything. Whatever you are owing to this person, have faith that when I say move here, do this, do that, you're going to be able to pay this person back. Because you are my child. I'm not going to leave my child helpless especially one that's obedient, I'm going to reward you. God is saying he will reward his children. He will pay off every debt for his children. The sins, our sins, our, our, our debt of sin is forgiven when he died on that cross. So you don't think that some physical form of money is not going to be paid off? Trust that he will do it. This is your confirmation that God will do it. God will pay off anything that you need, anything that you want. Trust. Read into this. Study it. Think, God, how does this apply to me? Why are you, why are you saying this to me? Anything that comes your way, God is going to take care of as, you're, as you, you are his child. If you feel like you're not there yet with God, get in his presence. Get in your word. Start praying to him. Uh, 
I think that's really it, y'all. Uh, let me see what my notes say. We are God's children, and the king of kings' children do not have to worry about anything, including finances or the cost of sin, because if we stay in the house of the Lord and not become a runaway child, we will be able to have those blessings like a king's child deserves to. Is that simple? Is that simple? Okay. I love y'all so much. I hope this encouraged y'all. I hope this motivates y'all to just go out there and praise the Lord. And I will see you guys in the next video. Ciao for now.